just wanted to make this video for anyone that's looking to do the coil on plug conversion for their second gen SV650. So obviously it's a two cylinder bike, so you are going to need two coil packs. Uh, you can get them from a GSXR 1000, uh, 750, 600. Uh, as long as they're this part number, it's going to be 129700-4400. Uh, you can actually also use the Hayabusa coil pack. Uh, I have a Busa and I threw this one in there just to make sure that it works. Uh, this one is a 129700-4420. This one also works, has the same coil style or the same plug style, basically the same exact length. Uh, just a tiny bit different seal type on, on the Busa. Um, so yeah, basically these plugs go in. Uh, you'll have to push the rubber boot down into the hole to form the seal because they're a little bit taller. Um, you will have to extend the wiring. So on the rear cylinder, uh, your factory coil is mounted on the right side of the bike. And then you're going to have two wires. One's going to be orange and black, and then the other one's going to be all black. So the way the coil packs work on these bikes, uh, as soon as you turn the key on and, uh, hit the red button, they get 12 volts directly. So the rear cylinder gets 12 volts from the orange and black. Um, when you buy your coil packs, you're also going to need the pigtails. So the right side of the coil pack, like if you take this off and you're looking down at the coil, the lead on the right is the positive and then the lead on the left is the negative. So um, if you buy Suzuki coils with pigtails, Suzuki always uses gray on their GSXRs and Hayabusa's. Uh, this is going to be the positive and then the ground is the triggered signal from the ECU uh, They can be yellow. They can be I think green They can be black and then they can be blue with white with a blue stripe <clears throat> So when you wire this up, I used red and black wiring to extend this harness just so I didn't get them mixed up uh, Your orange and black on the rear spark plug is the or the rear lead is your positive positive. So that one's going to go to the gray and then the all black is your negative trigger wire from the ECU. And then that one's going to go to yellow or green or white with a blue stripe or whatever the uh, positive lead is on your coil. And then on the front side, the front cylinder, your coil pack is located on the left side, right about here. Um, these wires are going to be orange, and then the other one is um, white with a blue stripe. So the orange is your positive, then the white with the blue stripe is the triggered ground from the ECU. Uh, you'll just extend those. I used red and black again, and then you can see this one. The gray is the positive, and then the yellow is the negative trigger from the ECU. So just for proof of concept, it's going to have an FI light because I have some things unplugged here. But just so you see. Runs good. Uh, definitely an upgrade from the factory uh, coil packs. I picked these up with pigtails for $50, which is actually cheaper than replacing your factory um, coils. It also cleans up the bike. Um, it makes it easier to swap them out. If you ever have to change coils, you don't have to uh, unbolt them from here. Uh, it really is going to save you a lot of time just to switch on switch to coil on plug. And then typically these coil on plug coil sticks stick style are a little more durable and rugged. They they tend to last a little longer. So. Yeah, I will uh, clean this up and then I'll post another video just showing the bike running uh, just so you can see that they do work good. So I hope this helps. Uh, definitely a worthwhile mod, especially if you have a bag coil pack. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. Thanks.